Yo, what up? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over what is Forex. Forex is a way to make some fast money online. And you can even make some money on your phone. And uh, it's basically just buying and selling money. So an example would be you have 80 US dollars and you buy 100 euro dollars and then you turn around and you sell the 100 euro dollars for 90 US dollars and then you basically just made a $10 profit. But it's more complex than that, but that's basically the simplicity of it. You're just buying and selling money. And Forex, also known as FX, stands for foreign exchange and it's just the exchange of currency. So here's Google's definition of what Forex is. Forex trading is the means through which one currency is changed into another. When trading Forex, you are always trading a currency pair, selling one currency while simultaneously buying another. All right, so check it out. So I'm buying the Canadian dollar against the Japanese. I think the uh, Canadian dollar is going to gain value and rise up here and I don't have a big lot size on it I just have 5,000 right now uh, so I should make about $28 so this would be buying and selling currency and how much can you make you can start off with as little as 10 and make up to 500 with that same ten dollars and you can even withdraw your profits and the reason you can make so much uh, with a little bit is because of leverage so what is leverage leverage trading in forex is expressed in ratio 1 to 50 and allows traders to trade in higher volumes without having to put up the required collateral in its entirety. For example, 150 leverage means that for every dollar a trader has in trading capital, they can trade up to 50 using the said leverage. So you have a dollar and they'll give you $50. And that's how you make money. And getting started, so what do you need to get started? All you need to do is open an account. You can go over to forex.com. Uh, it's just a minimum deposit of 100. Awanda.com, there's no minimum deposit. Or IG.com, uh, you know, minimum deposit of 250. You will have to give them your ID, social security, and fill out a few other personal things, uh, how much income you make, stuff like that. And there are other brokers out there, but these are the ones that I use, and they're pretty good. So I'm not, I'm not going to tell you to use someone else that I don't use, but I know these are legit, so go for it. And uh, what next? After you open an account, you can start learning about, you know, the basics. Charts, time frames, candles, pips, lots support and resistance indicators uh you know there's more there's buying and selling some of the terminology like buying going long uh shorting means selling and so your chart is basically just this what you're looking at here your time frames one minute goes all the way up to a month the candles are the red and green lines you see here and each candle represents the time period so if you do a one hour time frame each candle represents one hour and a pip is uh, how much the price moves here And this would be your lot size. You can change that. Let's say, 
let's say I wanted to add another 20, I could make 137 off a 57 pip move. But then in IG, it comes out to 0.05 lots. You know, if you open up a Forex in an IG account, just be aware that they process lot sizes differently. So this uh, 0.05 is equivalent to 5,000. And I think Owanda is just the same as Forex, 5,000. So that would be your lot size. Support and resistance, that's basically support would be where the market, as you can see right here where I place my take profit, I figure right around here, it's not going to go up anymore. I mean, it could, but, you know, I, I, I feel like this is going to be a resistance area. And then, you know, this, this area might be a support. So basically the idea is to look to your left where your previous resistance was, which is where, it, you know, it came up and then bam, came back down, came up, came back down, came up, you know, it never was able to kind of break through so that would be your resistance area and then your support would be you know this was once a resistance here when this tried to go up and then now it became a support so it hasn't really came back down it's a bad example but that's basically what it is so you want to familiarize yourself with support and resistance. And indicators are different tools you can use to kind of get a feel for what's happening with the market. Um, for instance, this is an RSI indicator. And when it, when it goes up here, it's getting overbought. So then you can expect it to start falling. I mean, you can't solely depend on this, but that's the idea. When it goes up here, it's overbought. When it goes down here, it's oversold. And you can see that the market kind of follows the indicator. So it was overbought and then it went down. So that's it. I just wanted to go over what is Forex, you know, how much you can make on it you know, where you can open an account and some of the basics that you should familiarize yourself with. And stay tuned, I'll be dropping some more videos to cover more topics on Forex. All right then, stay up.